Hi, I'm Dan Grieve, and I've teamed up with Adidas Golf to help three lucky Golf Monthly readers improve their short game. Let's get started. Jess, great to have you here at Woven. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And we're going to discuss this sort of short pitch shot out of the rough because you say you've been having yes. some issues with it. Tell me a bit more about it. I have. I've just found that when I find myself in a spot like this and I'm going to gravitate to playing a release two or a soft landing shot, mm -hmm. I just find I can catch it a little bit thin. I mm -hmm. don't feel like I get the best connection. And if I do get away with a connection, it will come out okay, but then really run. So okay. it's not got that soft landing yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that I see in your shots, but also that okay. I'd like to have in my game to think, okay, I'm in a bit of trouble here. And although I've got quite a lot of green to work with, if I then was to think, actually, I've got this one, mm -hmm. How do I get that softness in mm. it? Because I think I can and, maybe. And in terms of the lie, because that's the big thing in the rough. That might so is it when be it starts to is... sit down, is this what you mean? Yeah, when it's when sat it's down a little bit. Just like that, it's just down. There's a bit of, of grass sort of going in there. It, so you're yeah. thinking, okay, maybe this is more. I'm having to, to play this a little bit steeper, possibly. But again, if it's one where you're trying to limit the run on it a little bit, and maybe yeah. I'm being too ambitious of trying to get it close. Mm -hmm. But it'll be something like this. And then the ones that I really can struggle with can be when it's also then on a down slope. Mm. And you're trying to, again, like match the slope. But I find that if I can get a little bit too handsy, it will just come yeah, out, yeah, yeah. you know, come out no, running. That makes sense. Okay, all right, so it's sitting down a bit. We'll go for that back pin. Okay. 25 yards. I've got my 54. Got 54. Let's see what you've got. Okay, that's decent contact. Popped okay. out pretty nicely. Probably more of a luckier one okay. than I would normally get when you've got a card in the hand. Here we go. Okay. Same sort of life. Yeah, sort of grabs it a bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, really that's what forward. I find. Yeah. I can feel it yeah. slows down yeah, and I sure. then don't okay. feel like I've really got to throw it. Yeah, sure. So enough. this is where the IQ sign, what I call the golfing intelligence, really, really comes into its own when you're reading lies in the rough. Now, what you've got there is you've got quite a bit, big cushion behind the, the ball there. So quite right, I think you mentioned coming in steeper. You do need yeah. to come in a little bit steeper now, but you're not really setting up correctly for the shot you're trying to play. So you, you're setting up with the majority of your weight actually on your right side. Okay. okay probably about 60% or so. So you're kind of tilting away from the ball. Now, you hit those okay, you're a good player, you will, you will hit a lot of good shots, but from this position here and you start to try to release the club too much, it, ha it has got thin written all yeah, over it, that's yeah. how you hit the thin shot. And um, just really, you know, you don't get the control because you, pro you probably as well, if you are getting a decent strike, if you're releasing it too much and your weight's back here, you're going to start entering the, sort of the, the rough really about sort of maybe four, five, six inches behind the ball and that's going to lose spin. Yeah. So I think the big thing for you is when, when the ball starts sitting down a bit, See, I'd be setting up much more like this. I'd be down the grip. I'd be opening the club face a bit more. You have it dead square as well. Okay. It helps you. So I'd be opening up the face and I would be, see the, see the width of the stance is wider and I'm leaning forward. I'm really getting that left foot out and I'm leaning this way. And just by the very nature of setting up to it, my chest bone now much further in front of the ball from this setup with a bit of shaft lean, that's going to encourage me to set the club a bit earlier. Okay. But if I was to set up like you, I kind of want to go wider, yes. which is a shallow in. Right, you want okay. to understand shallowing and steeper the ingredients, yeah. and when okay. you need to add some in and take some out. So basically, you've got to get a little bit steeper, um, and then you can start to play around with different releases. I mean, the safer release once from the rough really is, is a, what I call a release one, which is where basically the, it finishes here, where the butter grip's pointing at the hip. Um, but if you wanted to release the club a little bit more, you could do, but you've got to do it from this position, not from this position. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. So yeah, so this would be me here, a little bit of hinge. I can pop down, I can get the heights, you see, and I can throw it right up there towards yeah. the pin. Now, if I wanted to come out a bit softer than that, I could do the same thing, and then I can just put a little bit more release into okay. it, and you can see that then comes out softer. Yeah. See, they're the ones that I struggle with. Yeah. The softer landing yeah. out of a tricky spot like this. Yeah. So, um, so to get it out, because this is a bit more advanced, obviously, if the lie was perfect, we'd just set up for a normal soft landing shot, okay, okay. in terms of how you set it up to it, quite shallow, releasing it. The lie is dictating how you play this shot. Yeah. The lie is the most important thing. So we read the lie, we get steeper at address, and then from there we can add a bit of releasing, but I think if you do it from this position, I think you're gonna find it a lot easier. Okay. And 54 is fine, I don't mind a 54, okay. particularly you've got a bit of green, but just open the club face a bit. Okay. But when you're playing in the rough here, if you have it square, the rough is quite thick here, it's gonna to tend to want to yeah. grab it. And so that's I would, that feeling at the bottom. I would open yeah. it just to give you a little bit of margin, so if it does slip, it's still gonna be square. But also what I would do here, just to 
protect against the rough grab and it is grip it a little bit tighter really in, in this area here. Okay. You know, in the pad here, the little thing of going into the hand. So as you're coming through, I, I really am, I always advocate a light grip and short game as you probably know, but in the rough, I really want to, with the left hand here, get tighter, helps me hold the loft on the club. Okay, so yeah. Finish through that much yeah. You set okay. up to roll there, a bit more on your left. So a bit open. Yeah, that's it. Try a bit, a bit more this way. Does that feel different? It does, yeah. Okay. More that way with the face. I think it'll be brave. There we go. Okay. Now down the grip a little bit more. Tight here. Right. That's okay. great. Okay. That is great. Right. That is fantastic. And now, then to yeah. feel the release, am I going finish like release one for this one or? A... Well, I think I think I think we'll try and get it softer. So we'll yes. do a two, but okay. you can do it from this setup. Okay. You can't do it from the old setup. No. Okay. Perfect. Right. There we go. Go, go to the top. Go to the top of the swing. Just try and get your left wrist a little bit more cupped. Okay. Okay, now as you come down, you can come down. Because of the backswing, you're coming down steeper, you put a little bit of a late release in there. Okay. Okay. But you've got to stay left the whole time. And cupped. You must cup. You you do tend to get a bit I do, way, right? yeah. Which then, again, off, off the fairway light, it's not the end of the world. You can play right. a low running shot. In the rough, if you do that, if you flex the wrist and the loft goes down, it's going to tend to grab a lot. Okay, so that yep. cupping, Yeah. I guess it feels... Yeah, like the th that's not even it, is it? That's Thumbs it. are. That's it. That's it. So to get to there. Yeah, that's it. And then just hit, okay. I want you to hit the golden rule when you're in a rough like this is you don't hit the ball first. Okay. Okay, you've got to hit about an inch behind it, okay? Right, that's great. That's really good. There okay. we go. Right. Hinge it, hit, pop it just behind the ball. Right, that oh. came off really soft. Okay. There Too we go. soft. <laughs> no run on it. But that's the type of. That's, well, that's the one if I've got a tight pin. Yeah, you don't want to run if you try and play this high shot. You wouldn't run with doing more of that front hip release. Okay. Okay, great there. Don't open it too much. Don't go crazy. Right, there we go. A little bit of hinge. Get some release oh, at the bottom. Again. They're coming out lovely. <laughs> they, I mean, I, would, I will take those because most of the time I'm in a tighter spot than yeah, exactly. having lots of green. But don't okay. really, so, so look, if you were just trying to hit that shot 10, 12 yards, you've just played a world-class shot. Okay. The rest of it, you've got to feel it. Yeah. It's coming off softer now, so you've got to increase your speed. Okay, right? wow. Okay, over here. Bit of forward lean of the shaft. Like that. Okay. Okay. So it's just because like of the lie. Front because leg, of the lie. Yeah. Right. Set it early. So that release at the bottom. Have a bit more chest speed uh, okay. through it this time. Very good. Now that's what you want. So it's carried. It's landed yeah, soft. That's nice. And it's not running very far. No, I like that. Yeah, that's very good. You played that really well. Thank you. Same I think that's one thing throughout. It's getting confident with the chest as well, yeah. releasing the chest yeah, through it. Because yeah, I think yeah, that absolutely. sometimes I can Stall go out. slower with mm. that so the hands take mm -hmm. over. Okay. Should we do a, do a front hip release, like a motor of a, of a running shot out of the rough now? Okay. So you set up exactly the same. Exactly the same, a little bit changes. open. Just a touch open. Shaft lean. Shaft lean, same, absolutely. Yeah. And now, same thing from this setup. You're going to hinge the club a little bit earlier to create, get the steel protected through the rough. But this time you're going to finish more like this. You're still turning okay. the chest, but you're finishing more this way. Okay. So it's a front hip release and this ball is now going to come out a little bit lower and hopefully run to the back pin. Okay. All right. So when you've got green to work with at the rough, it's more that finish. If you've got the shorter one, you've got to go over something, yep. you put more of that, that okay. second release in, okay? So wait on this side, a bit of sharpening. That's really good there. Hinge, but front hip release this time. We're a slightly lower, more running shot. Good. And you watch this will land and watch it run out. So you just want to run out a little bit more. So you've, yes, great shot. You played that brilliantly. <laughs> Take these to the course. You played that brilliant. Yeah, but what you okay, understand in you. it, it's one setup. Yes. And you just change your swing a little bit, depending on the slope and how much green you've got to work yeah, with. I yeah, I think that's been the challenge from the get-go, is I feel if you if you don't know this setup, yeah. in your mind you think, well, I'm trying to play this shot, but you're going against the tide almost. You mm. can't, you mm -hmm. know, if you've already scuppered yourself. Yeah. Okay. Now, if we're going for this front pin, okay, so okay. There's, there's hardly any green. Uh, we can still sit to a 54, it might be easier with 58, uh, but we'll, uh, have you got a 58? I have, yeah. yeah. Just, let's use a 58. Let's use a right club. Now, here you're going to play it exactly the same way. We do need some release into this to soften it. Okay. But get super wide now, go even wider. So I want your hands to get lower, point the loft more up. So would this feel like I'm more playing a bunker more shot bunker almost? More bunker shot, so like, 100%. Okay. That's it, we'll kick the right leg in. Leg in, yeah. yeah that's it, good. Now set the club nice and early with the wrists. And you're coming down, and it's there. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. There's not much rotation of the of the upper body here. It's, it's more of a hand and arm shot. Okay. So set it, 
release it. Okay. okay. Nice and narrow in the follow through. Shaft lean or no? Yeah, no, you're good there. Do okay. you want to just feel it now? There you go. Oh, what a great shot. Go in. Oh, wow. What a great shot. So there's no such thing as a bad lie. No. It's IQ. Yes. And think about how you need to change that angle of attack and release. So you've got you. some solutions there for different lies. Yeah, and it's just brilliant. so easy to practice. And when you do practice that, I would just throw the balls over your shoulder in a rough. Yeah. And just look at each one and react to it. And then you See. just learn how to do subtle differences in, in, your, in how you set your weight and how you um, put the angle of attack into it. Well, that's brilliant. good. And yeah, Thank lots you, of work Dan. on it. It's a great part of the game. There's no such thing as a bad lie, okay? Nope, nope. I know that now. <laughs> Thank you. All right, pleasure. So before coming to today, I would say the main struggle for me was getting out the rough okay and having that soft landing shot. I'd always try and bring a bit of softness to it, but either thin it massively, especially if I'm on a down slope, or get it out okay, but just not be able to control the run out. So I really wanted to focus on those tricky shots, which I like to try and practice and can often find myself in on the course as well. And so for me, really working with Dan on that in the session, means now that I'm leaving with confidence that if I do find myself in those not quite position Z, I think he calls it, but those really tough ask lies where you can't quite get to the back of the ball, there's that tuft of grass there, I'm going to feel a lot more confident walking into that shot and hopefully get a good result as well.